Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. Let me take you on a voyage through time and space, to the vast expanse of the Sahara, the largest hot desert in the world. It's a place of extreme contrasts and stark beauty, with a history as rich and deep as the layers of sand that stretch for miles beneath the scorching sun. The Sahara is not just a monotonous stretch of sand, as many might believe. It's a landscape painted in hues of red, yellow, and gold. It's a series of dunes, rocks, and mountains, each with a tale to tell. One such story is that of the Tassili Nair, a mountain range in the heart of the Sahara, known for its deep canyons and towering sandstone arches. This mountain range holds within it a treasure trove of prehistoric art, dating back to a time when the Sahara was not a desert, but a lush green landscape. Thousands of years ago, when humans were still figuring out their place in the world, they left their mark on these rocks, a testament to their existence and their interaction with the world around them. The petroglyphs and rock paintings depict scenes of life that would seem out of place in the harsh Sahara we know today. They show animals such as giraffes, elephants, and hippopotamuses, indicating that the Sahara was once a wet and fertile land teeming with wildlife. These images are a stark reminder of how drastically our planet can change over millennia. Over time, climatic changes led to the desertification of the Sahara. This process started around 6000 BC, a period known as the Neolithic subpluvial. The rains that once fed the rivers and lakes of the Sahara began to recede, leading to a gradual shift in the flora and fauna. As the Sahara dried up, the human inhabitants adapted. They began to domesticate animals like goats and sheep, shifting from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to a pastoral one. The desert was becoming a harsh mistress, but these early Saharans were learning to endure. This adaptation is evident in the rock art of the Sahara. The later paintings and engravings show scenes of herding and animal domestication. They also depict human figures with bows and arrows, indicating a shift towards a more settled and structured society. These rock art sites are not just historical artifacts, but a window into the soul of the Sahara. They bear witness to the resilience of humans in the face of changing circumstances. They are a testament to our ability to adapt and thrive, even in the most inhospitable conditions. The Sahara is not just about the past, but also the present. Despite the harsh conditions, life has found a way to survive here. The Sahara is home to a diverse array of flora and fauna, each uniquely adapted to the desert environment. One such creature is the fennec fox, the smallest species of fox, known for its large ears that help it dissipate heat. It has adapted to the desert life by being nocturnal, hunting for rodents and insects when the desert is relatively cooler. Then there's the attics, a type of antelope that can survive without water for long periods. Its hooves are wide and flat to prevent it from sinking into the sand. It's a creature that has become one with the desert, living testament to the resilience of life. The desert flora is no less fascinating. The date palm, for instance, has been a staple for the Saharan people for centuries. It provides food, shelter, and material for crafting. Its deep root system allows it to tap into groundwater that is inaccessible to many other plant species, and it is resilient to the high temperatures and low humidity of the desert. Another remarkable plant of the Sahara is the acacia tree. With its deep root system and small, leathery leaves that reduce water loss, it's a symbol of life and resilience in an otherwise arid landscape. Its pods and leaves serve as a valuable food source for many desert animals. The Sahara is also home to the remarkable Velvichia mirabilis, a plant that can live for up to 2,000 years. This plant possesses only two leaves, which grow continuously, weathering to shreds at the ends while staying connected to a sturdy, deep taproot that drinks from the underground reserves. Human habitation in the Sahara is as resilient as its wildlife. The Tuareg, known as the Blue People of the Desert, due to their indigo-dyed clothing, are one of the indigenous peoples of the Sahara. They have learned to coexist with the desert, their lifestyle intricately woven with the rhythms of this harsh land. The Tuareg are traditionally nomadic, their lives centered around their livestock. They move their herds across the desert in sync with the seasons, searching for pasture and water. Their knowledge of the desert, passed down through generations, has enabled them to survive in this extreme environment. The Berber people, another indigenous group, have a rich history in the Sahara. They established vast trade networks across the desert, their camel caravans braving the sandstorms and extreme temperatures to transport goods between West Africa and the Mediterranean. These trade routes, collectively known as the Trans-Saharan Trade Route, 
were not just for commerce but served as cultural and knowledge exchange corridors. They played a crucial role in the spread of Islam and the Arabic language across Africa. The Sahara was also home to several powerful kingdoms, such as the Almoravids in the 11th century. Originating from the Sahara, they conquered vast territories across North Africa and Spain, establishing a dynasty that left a significant impact on the region's history and culture. The desert was not always a barrier. It was a bridge, connecting different cultures and civilizations. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the desire to reach beyond the horizon, no matter how daunting the journey. Today, the Sahara continues to hold a certain allure. Its vastness and isolation make it a place of intrigue and mystery. Many a traveler has been captivated by the sight of its endless dunes under the glow of the setting sun. The desert has also been a canvas for human innovation. The advent of technologies like solar power has turned the Sahara into a potential energy goldmine. The Desertec project, for instance, aims to harness the Sahara's sunlight to generate clean energy. This is a testament to the ever-evolving relationship between humans and the Sahara. It's a dance between adapting to the desert and adapting the desert to our needs. The desert may be harsh, but it's not unyielding. The Sahara is not just a geographical entity, but a symbol. It's a testament to the passage of time, to the tenacity of life, and to the endurance of the human spirit. It's a reminder of our past and a hint of our future. It's a place where the line between reality and myth often blurs. Legends of lost cities buried under the sand dunes, like the mythical Atlantis of the Sands, continue to intrigue archaeologists and adventurers alike. The Sahara has been the setting for many real and fabled events. An example is the Paris-Dakar Rally, one of the most grueling and famous off-road endurance races in the world. Starting in Paris, France, and ending in Dakar, Senegal, this race traverses challenging Saharan terrains, testing the limits of both vehicles and participants. Another significant event that highlights the Sahara's unforgiving nature was the crash of UTA Flight 772 in 1989. The plane went down over the Sahara in Niger, killing all on board. In 2007, families of the victims erected a memorial at the crash site, a daunting task given its remote location. This memorial, visible from space, is a poignant reminder of the Sahara's remoteness and the challenges it presents. A hauntingly beautiful sight, it comprises dark stones arranged in the shape of a plane, surrounded by a circle of lighter rocks, contrasted against the endless expanse of golden sand. In the realms of science, the Sahara plays a crucial role as well. Its vast, arid expanse makes it an ideal location for studying celestial bodies. The Sahara Sky Observatory in Morocco, for instance, offers some of the clearest views of the night sky, unobstructed by light pollution. Moreover, the desert's dry conditions have preserved ancient meteorites, providing valuable information about our solar system. The Sahara has, in a sense, served as a cosmic library, holding records of astronomical events spanning millions of years. The vastness of the Sahara also plays a crucial role in global weather patterns. The dust that it churns up can travel thousands of kilometers, affecting weather and climate in regions far removed from the desert itself. This dust has even been found to fertilize the Amazon rainforest, illustrating the interconnectedness of Earth's ecosystems. In recent years, the Sahara has been at the forefront of discussions on climate change. Its desertification process serves as a stark warning about the impacts of climate change. Studies suggest that human-induced global warming could lead to the further expansion of the desert, impacting the lives of millions of people. The shifting dunes of the Sahara are also a symbol of the ongoing refugee crisis. Many have braved the perilous journey across the desert, fleeing conflict and poverty in their homelands. The Sahara has been, for them, a path to a new life, albeit fraught with danger. The Sahara, in all its harshness and beauty, has also inspired countless works of art and literature. From Paul Bowles, The Sheltering Sky, to Michael Palin's, Sahara, the desert has been a muse, a metaphor, and a setting for explorations of the human condition. Despite its seemingly inhospitable nature, the Sahara is teeming with life and stories. From the resilient creatures that call it home to the people who have navigated its vastness, it's a testament to the indomitable spirit of life. The Sahara is a story of resilience, of adaptation, of survival against the odds. It's a story of civilizations that rose and fell, of trade routes that connected continents, and of people who have learned to call this arid expanse home. The Sahara is not a place to be conquered but understood. 
It's a place that teaches us about our past and warns us about our future. It's a testament to the power of nature and the resilience of life. My journey through the annals of time and the sands of the Sahara has given me a new appreciation for this vast desert. It has shown me that even in the most desolate places, life finds a way. Until we meet again, farewell.